I got to 11 Madison Park in 2006. At the time, the restaurant was a popular restaurant in New York, but it hadn't hit its stride. The food, while delicious, was not that significant. The service, while friendly, was not all that precise, but our dining room. If you've never seen a picture of the dining room at 11 Madison Park, it is truly one of the most beautiful in the world. And I was brought in as a part of the team that was charged with elevating the experience to live up to the room itself. In the beginning, we did what one would obviously do when focusing on getting better. We doubled down in our pursuit of excellence with the product itself. In the kitchen, we hired cooks who had worked in some of New York's best restaurants. We started buying better pieces of equipment, sourcing better ingredients, introducing new techniques. In the dining room, we did a lot of the same. We hired servers who had worked in some of New York's four-star restaurants. We removed some tables from the dining room so we could serve a better experience to fewer people. We bought fancier glasses and nicer silverware and expensive plates. We started testing the team on a weekly basis to ensure they had the knowledge required to deliver the experience we were trying to deliver. We were relentless in our pursuit of excellence. And within a few years, it started to work. We went from two stars in the New York Times to three stars in the New York Times to four stars. Just to be clear, that's the most stars you can get. We went from zero Michelin stars to one Michelin star and then became the first restaurant in the history of that guide to go from one to three in a single year. We were on top of New York. We were feeling really, really proud. And then one day I went into the restaurant to go through my normal morning routine. I said hi to the cooks in the kitchen. I said hi to the servers in the dining room, made myself a coffee, went back to the office to start checking mail. And eventually stumbled upon a letter where in the upper left-hand corner it said the world's 50 best restaurants. I think we all have these moments, right? Those that we can recall very, very vividly because they were that impactful in the course of our career. This was one of those for me because that list had become a very important one in my world. It was the first of its kind. The first to rank every restaurant on the planet against one another and in doing so gave many of us a gift, especially those of us who had achieved every accolade available to us in our region. It gave us something more to aspire towards. Now, I don't believe that anyone does anything of greatness in pursuit of the accolades alone, but I do believe that they can be really healthy motivations for ourselves and in our ability to lead the team around us.